Hello everybody and welcome back to Old School RuneScape from Scratch episode 41. Are you impressed that I actually remembered the episode name this time? But I finished up our Blood Veld's task that we got at the end of the last episode and we got 225 Slayer points since it was our 200th task. Now it's not in here because I had to go right after I finished it, but we have a whopping 752 Slayer points. Uh, which I'm going to use to cancel horrible tasks, not wyverns, because they're pretty fast, so I end up doing them. Plus, there's a chance to get a visage, so, you know, it could be a little exciting to do it every now and then. But the only Slayer reward I have that I might potentially get is the Herb Sack. My only problem with the Herb Sack now is that prices on herbs are really low compared to how they used to be. Like, Ranars are lower than I've ever seen them before. So I really don't know if it's even worth picking up the herbs off the ground to put them into the sack. Like, the time you spend, it really isn't worth paying attention just to get that little amount of GP. So, we'll see. For now, I'm going to go do my Wyvern's task. Like I said, one Slayer level per episode at least. So let's get on that grind. You know, I could make a joke about the God godfather say hello to my little friend or something like that but i'm gonna hold myself back because i need the energy to react to getting third age well it's a really interesting clue i mean it's worth a decent amount of money i don't think i'll ever see something like this again only rune items and right in the middle an armadil plate body we got a hard clue scroll from something and if we don't get like a million gold worth of stuff i'm gonna be triggered <laughs> That's really bad. So I'd made a bet with 478k, and he said if I could get a pet in the last episode, then he would give me a Darox set, and I had to go PKing with it. And as you all know, I got the Jad pet, so uh, we got Darox, and now we have to go PKing, and he wishes me good luck, so that's going to be fun. I am keeping my word. As you can see here, when I check the health of this maple tree, we will hit 71 farming. Just one more level, and we can start doing Calquats as a daily tree. I'm doing my uh, fruit tree and regular tree runs now and also I was talking to somebody in the clan and it might be worth it once I get to 75 farming to just start planting magic trees because they give so much experience and even though it costs a lot uh, I can offset that pretty easily because I only have to harvest them once a day so I might move up into the big leagues once we hit 75. Oh boy, I just killed a superior uh, Dust Devil, and we got a Mystic, no, I'm sorry, Mist Battle Staff. Ah, uh, so we hit the rare drop table, but didn't get uh, the thing. Also, this guy's crashing me at Dust Devils. Buddy, there's a whole cave full of Dust Devils. Are you okay? This was the most clutch kill ever. Out of supplies, and we... Well, oh, it's something, fuck. dude. It's something. We got a Cerasaur. <laughs> dude, okay, I'm tabbing out. We were out of supplies, we are out of supplies, and I gave him like one brew, and that's all he had, and all I had were the four peaches, and I told him we gotta clutch this kill out because we're getting something, and so we did it, and we got the Sarasword. Oh boy. What do you have to say about that? I saw the word Sarah and I panicked. <laughs> yeah. Are you serious? No way. Oh man. No way. Oh. <laughs> I called it. I it. You did say we were gonna get an ACB. Oh Ooh. my god. Pick it up. I'm not Pick picking it up. It up. I'm leaving it on the ground because people get really mad when YouTubers leave it on the ground. So there's an Armadil crossbow. My oh. boss luck has been uh, pretty decent, especially with Necro around. He brings the RNG to the table. I, dude, look at this. Ah, oh, look at the matching crossbows. That is sexy. All right, now I gotta give Necro his split. I tried to log out on him, but he knows where I live, so that didn't work out. <laughs> so here's the clean 12 mil split. Oh my God, it feels so good. Do a little jig, have a little party, and that's gonna pay for my uh, college. So I'm actually quitting YouTube now, guys. I'm going to college. See you later. Here's a medium clue. It's not gonna be good, but I'm opening it just for the hell of it. Woo! Green stuff, but none of them are the ranger boots. This makes me so sad. I had everything ready to go, and I was paying really close attention to uh, RuneScape so I could record this clip, and then I looked away for like 20 seconds and I missed it. But we just hit level 90 ranged. There is our uh, fourth combat-related stat to enter the 90s. Just three more to go. Defense, which is super close. Prayer and magic, which is also pretty close. So we're getting close to base 90 in combat, and that is going to feel so good. I'm probably going to be able to make my way to 99 ranged uh, just through Slayer. So that's probably what I'm going to do. I don't think I'll have to do any ranged training outside of here, which is going to be great, because chinning is expensive as hell. Oh, I didn't know that was going to happen when I killed the superior. What amazing timing. But there is 85 Slayer. You can now kill Abyssal Demons and Sires. That is 
The most beautiful message I've ever seen in my entire life. When I was a kid, this was the dream to be able to kill Abyssal Demons. I always told myself, if I can get 85 Slayer and kill Abyssal Demons, I would be rich because I'd gather those Abyssal Whip Drops. Back in the day, there were like 3 or 4 mil or something like that, and I was like, oh, 3 or 4 mil? That's so much money. So, hopefully we'll get an Abyssal Demon task soon, and I can go try out Sire and kill our first Abyssal Demon. So, I forgot to bring uh, runes to Alquith. So, I've been doing this task... And I finished it, and I just realized I need four spots for my cannon. Let the depression sink in. Got a hard uh, clue casket from that insanely long Suka's task. Like, it's so long, so I really don't like doing it anymore, but the experience is so good, I just can't resist. So let's open this bad boy up and see what we get. Uh, about average, not horrible. I mean, the mostly harmless teleports are nice because I use them if I do a uh, cave horrors task. But recently, I haven't really felt like doing them. Maybe it's the fact that I've got not gotten like nothing from them for a while, or maybe it's the fact that they're like so far away and then they're really slow to kill. And just I'm just complaining now. I'm sorry. I may or may not have mentioned this at the end of the last part, but I want to get the Elite Lumbridge Diaries done. So first off, we're going to knock out some of the easier ones that we have left, like this. Craft 56, or maybe 140 water runes at once, which is an elite task in the Lumbridge and Jirinor area. Now we're going to head off to the Mage Training Arena and cut down a magic tree. So I figured I'd tell a funny story since uh, it actually pertains to this area. So a long time ago, woodcutting was my favorite skill. I was maybe like 11 or 12, and holy crap, there's somebody else woodcutting here? That is insane. Uh, so I used to love woodcutting, so I would come here to chop down the magic trees here at the maze training arena because I didn't know what efficiency was when I was a little kid. And there were other people cutting them here, and we'd have little chats sometimes, and somebody told me that uh, their alternate account was Zezima, and I was a very skeptical young child, so I was like, oh yeah, prove it. What's the first letter of your password? And that person reported me, and I got like a two-day ban for uh, trying to like get someone's password or something like that and I was so sad as a little kid getting banned and yeah that's back in the day when RuneScape was super strict now you can have like racist terminology in your username and you're all good so hopefully this magic tree doesn't take too long to cut down I thought you know that story would get it cut down but it's not cutting it huh get it all right it's about to happen gonna let go of my one 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 ones in the chat because that's what happens when you do blast furnace but any second now boom there we go 83 smithing now you might be like well that's not the that's not the level you need well I actually need level 88 smithing but I can get a plus five boost and now that my kitten is a cat I don't think I showed that in the video but my kitten became a cat like a week ago when I was streaming because I needed boosts it'll be easier for me to get orange spices and as long as RNG Jesus isn't feeling like an ass today I should be able to get the boost real quick so I'm gonna finish up these gold ores and then we're gonna go for that boost and I hope it doesn't take too long alright so I'm waiting for my magic level to go down this is the spicy stew we've got so hopefully we'll be able to get this boost in the amount of time it takes and if not I'll probably cry myself to sleep tonight well one of them got me to 87 but they didn't they didn't get me to 88 which is what I need Boom! I did it! I did it! I was going to record me doing it, but it was like close to the uh, stat decrease, so I didn't. But there we go! We have completed all the elite tasks in Lumbridge and Jirinor area. Speak to Hatius Cosaintus outside of Lumbridge Castle to claim your reward. And something I never knew about this guy, I didn't notice till I saw a little meme on Reddit, is that his name is supposed to be like Hatus Cosainus, and I just... I can't believe this guy's in the game. Finally, the last time I ever have to talk to the private server god himself. Alright, there's our rewards. Here's the antique lamp, which we will put into runecrafting. It's pink again, which is kind of weird, but there's... Oh, wow! We got 79 runecrafting! Beautiful. I always love getting runecrafting levels. And the explorer's ring 4, which looks so damn cool. If only there was a way to see the rings on your uh, character's hands. But still, this thing looks so damn cool. We get unlimited teleports, I believe, to... Yep, to the cabbage patch here which is right next to the herb patch right there, which is good for herb runs if I ever decide to do them. I'm not doing them now because I'm super lazy, and you can recharge your run energy like a bajillion times a day. So it's super awesome, great reward, and another elite diary down. You've served me well, buddies, but I don't need you anymore, so say hello to the ground. All right, so we decided to do a trio at Bandos. One of the guys is gonna kill count, and we got Bandos boots. Bandos boots. That is depressing. Alright, so we finished our trip and didn't get shit besides these Bandos boots. Well, I was going to show you them, but I already sold them. So there's one mil. It's like 335k split each, something like that. <sighs> Scuffed Bandos trip. 
Well, I have decided to try something new, and that is to uh, kind of AFK Skeletal Wyverns. Now, I tried this once before, and like every world was full, but apparently there's a CC that can help you uh, find a free world, so I'm going to go try that out. I'm also going to buy and imbue an Archer's Ring. Uh, this is going to, you know, hit my cash stack a little bit, which is going to bring us down to 10 mil, which is unfortunate, but we're still in that green cash stack, so it's, it's still good, and we should be able to make this back rather quickly there. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I will be working on other stuff today, so I can kind of do this in the background, and if this is nice in the future, then all the time when I'm doing something else, I could just AFK these guys. Supposedly, it's about 500k an hour, so yeah, I'm going to go try to do some wyverns. I'll report back, see how it goes, and when I get a visage, you guys are going to hate me. All right, so I AFK'd wyverns for about three hours, and this is the loot we got in total. Uh, not anything too crazy, but some pretty decent drops like the battle staves and magic logs. So I'm going to sell all of this off and see what we get in total. All right, so I got about one mil in total, which is to be expected. You can make a little bit more there if you're in the wyvern CC selling your prayer potions and wyvern bones and stuff like that. But I was super lazy and I just wanted to be ultra AFK while I was there. So it is a decent method. I gained about 70,000 range to XP. And, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to go back there anytime soon because it is really boring. I mean, I know the whole point of it is to be AFK, but it, maybe it's just a little too AFK for my taste. So I died at Zulra because I wasn't paying attention. I died right at the end of the kill because I thought she was dead. And then she went into Mage Phase and I was praying range and smacked me with the Mage. Of course, the one time she uses Mage in Mage Phase. But, uh, this was the drop. <laughs> Flax and Swamp Tar. So, uh, yeah, I think that was probably the best Zora kill to die on. Alright, here is our 550th Zora kill count, and we get an amazing drop of Calquet Tree Seeds, my favorite drop. Yeah, I do Zora a lot, and I don't know why. Probably because the money's so good, but it kind of feels like an addiction. Alright, we got a hard clue casket from Otto, which means it's going to be terrible. Uh, not terrible actually, but we got a Navy Cavalier, which means we will be able to swoon in and take all the ladies. Let it be known that I am doing farming runs, and there is 74 farming, which means we could do the highest tier of fruit in the Tithe Farm, so if I ever get insanely sick of doing farming runs, and I decide to just straight up grind out farming, we've got the best option available now, but... I'm not going to do that. I've been working on Slayer a little bit, actually. A little bit off-screen because, you know, I'm not going to show every task or that'd be a pretty boring video. I still haven't gotten an Abbey Demons task, and I'm still way too excited to kill Abyssal Demon, so maybe we'll just go kill a few. I have a feeling I'm probably going to regret this one, but since we got a Black Demons task, we're going to go kill Demonic Gorillas. As many of you know, I've killed over 300 of them, and the only drop we got, I believe, was a Ballista Spring, which we sold for, like, a clean 30k. It's kind of depressing. Let's go back in and see if we can get anything else. Hopefully not another Ballista Spring. So I killed about 50 Demonic Gorillas, and I'm just I'm just tired of it. I got some decent loot. I mean, I probably got a little bit over 1.5 mil from them. They're a really great moneymaker on task. I mean, if I were to factor in me getting a Zenite Shard every X hours of doing it, they're probably like 3 or 4 mil an hour. Really great moneymaker, but you have to pay a lot of attention, and they're kind of annoying, especially when they do their melee phase, and you have to just kind of guess what their next attack is going to be, so you take damage even though you're trying so hard. But yeah, it was pretty decent, and I also went back to my house and uh, repaired all my Barrow's armor. Don't ask why I have two Varix Helms, I just do. <laughs> so... I'm probably going to go sell off this loot tab and see what we can get. I don't know why my burning amulet's in there. And I have a pretty big cash stack. I'm thinking about spending some of it on buyables or maybe saving up and getting uh, Bando's armor. If I finish selling everything off and we have just over 4 mil, if we add that into our cash stack, I think we'll have just about 14 mil, actually. Oh, just short by, like, what? Oh, 80k. Well, our adamant axes are selling, so maybe, maybe we'll have 14 mil soon. But uh, I really really want to get another 99. I don't know why, but I just feel the urge to get another 99, and I'm looking at them, and there's not really another quick one, and a lot of people would say fletching is pretty fast, which it is, but I would rather wait until later on, and I could probably just do uh, darts, which would be an insanely fast way to get fletching to 99 if I end up doing the Ardoin course to get my agility to 99. I don't know if I'll ever want to get agility to 99, but that's just some future thoughts. So let me know in a comment what skill you think I should go for 99 next. Obviously, I'm getting somewhat close to my combat 99s. I'll get attack and strength pretty close together, but not before hit points. And then range, they'll probably get to 99 by cannoning my way to 99 Slayer. I said the word 99 so much in this clip that it's starting to not sound like a word. I also wanted to get thieving 
up to 99 but oh my god i can't i can't say the word 99 anymore but they kind of nerfed uh i can't use os buddy mouse keys anymore and windows mouse keys kind of suck so blackjack is a little bit of a pain in the ass so we'll see if i think up any ideas i'll let you guys know but also let me know in a comment if there's any 99 you'd like me to get just uh refrain from using the word 99 please i found something kind of funny while doing my farming run of course being the genius i am i pulled out a noted spade instead of a regular spade to do my run and i was like oh maybe i can give it to the tool leprechaun and then get it back as unnoted, and when you use it on him, he just yells at you, THAT IS A BANK NOTE! I withdrew my stamina pot as a note, too. So something I'd actually forgotten about quite a long time ago when we completed the Mauritania Hard Diaries is that we can get a Bone Crusher here. Uh, now we have the Bone Crusher. I can't believe I've gone so long without getting this. And right now it has no charges on it, as you can see, but you can charge it with Ecto Tokens. And of course, to get Ecto Tokens, you have to use the Ecto Fundus here. Wait, do I have to pay the Ecto? Oh, no, no, he said that I've completed the quest. And since I have the Mortania Hards done, I can get some uh, Bone Meal and Slime from Robin every day. Oh, wait, I need to bring him Bones. Crap. So I need to bring some bones, then he'll give me some stuff and I can use that to charge them. So I'll demonstrate that here in just a second. Alright, I've come back with some bones. I'm going to hit claim slime, and there you go. He gives us a uh, bone meal, and actually probably be faster for me to just empty the ecto file here. Look at that efficiency, dude. I'm basically uh, like Autumn or Link's Titan up in here. So we'll use these to worship the ecto fontas and see how many, uh, what's it called, uh, ecto tokens we can get. So let's see. 60 ecto tokens, and I don't think that's my whole daily thing, but let's use these on the bone crusher. Oh, whoa! 1600 charges! I didn't think it was gonna give that many. That is very surprising. Okay, I'm gonna see how many uh, thingies I can convert uh, with my daily things here, and wow, that's amazing. Alright, so I converted it on. As long as I do my dailies, I should get around 3000 charges for my bone crusher every day. Now, I probably should have been using this thing for a long time and gathering charges on it for a long time but I'd forgotten about it now the only problem is is that with only the Mauritania hards done I can only get half the experience I would normally get from burying the bone when I use a bone crusher charge I need to have the elites done if I want to uh, get the full effect so here are the requirements for the elites I can do that I can do that I can almost do that I think I can do that and I think I can do no I know I can do that as well the only problem is catch a shark in Bergdorot with your bare hands, which requires 96 fishing. Obviously, I would go to 91 and then get a boost, but that means I have to get 13 fishing levels and just around 4.4 million, oopsies, I didn't mean to minimize that, fishing experience. So I don't know when or if we'll complete this anytime soon, but maybe I could just grind out fishing hardcore over the next week or so. I, pr probably not, but maybe let's go knock out some of these other tasks and then think about the fishing one. Alright, here we are to complete the task of looting a barrow's chest while wearing full barrows. I brought my trusty old Varric set here. Maybe we'll get an item. No, we didn't, but we completed an elite task, and that's good enough for me. Also, seriously, 65 barrow's chests. And we got one item, the Varric's Flail. And on my other account, I've done about 40 and never gotten an item, which means in 105 chests. I've gotten one item, and it was a Varric's Flail, so that just, I just wanted to complain about that a little more, because you guys say my RNG is so great everywhere, it's not that good at Barrows. Alright, so another elite task requires us to use Fertile Soil, I believe that's what the spell is, on the Herb Patch here, and there we go, Elite Task in Mauritania complete. That is a, an interesting spell there, I'm pretty sure that's one of the dance moves from Gangnam Style. I told you guys I wanted to kill an Abyssal Demon in this episode, and there we go, an Elite Task is done. We got a defense potion. Yeah, I'm gonna kill one more. You know, I got a good feeling about this RNG in before I end up staying here for hours and hours just because I want to see that whip drop. I wanted this so bad as a kid. All right, now let's see if I can remember how to do this. You put the... No, you put the wood on first. Then you put the remains on. Then you light it with the fire... The tinderbox, the fire maker, and there is an elite task done in the Mauritania area in a bronze key. So now we have two tasks left, one of which requires the ridiculous fishing level of 96, aka 91 with a boost. We're not going to be able to do that in this episode, but craft a black dragon hide body. I was looking on the page, that requires 84 crafting, of which we have 78 now. Which means we only technically need to get one more level and then a plus 5 boost, but what I would probably do is just get it to 80 and then do the plus 4 boost, because I want to have it at 80 anyways. I said I wanted base 80 stats a while back, then I never did it, please don't hate me. But, 
yeah, so maybe we'll do that now, and if I don't decide to do it now, I'll let you know. But let's go to the GE and spend all my money. Yay! Alright, so here I am doing some crafting. I think I might just make my way up to 81 to make the boosts even easier. I don't know. Plus, I just want to get total levels. It's so much fun. And crafting is pretty fast XP, especially with this method. But I'm going to end the episode off here since I haven't been able to upload one in a while. Thanks to not being able to play for like five or so days, thanks to my ISP. It's all resolved though now. Everything's working fine. And at the start of the next episode, I will have the levels needed to do our diary. And then maybe we'll just fish for 46 hours straight. Anyways, our playtime is 53 days, 20 hours, and 17 minutes. Yes, I know, we did not get a pet in this episode. Can you believe it? We went a whole episode without getting a pet. It is incredible. So, in the next part, I'm going to kill KBD three times. We're going to get the pet, and then I'm going to get 99 fishing in, like, you know, three days. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.